I'm sorry, John. Your childhood was cruel. I know you went through a lot of pain. I needed you to remember something real. Imagining a child's paradise can be painless for the mind, but the truth is rarely painless. You remembered, even though there was pain. We must find the truth. One more question, John. Do you remember the last game you played? Uh, you mean before the shattering? Uh, let's see now. It uh, must have been uh, Resident Evil 3, the remake. Great game. A little too violent for you, Doc, though. A little too violent. Hi there! My name's Atunav, I'm the only me there is, and welcome back to The Shattering. Now, last time we beat Act 2, and as the good doctor just mentioned, yeah, John did not have a pretty childhood. It was pretty, pretty darn cruel. I, it always boggles me and disappoints me at how evil mankind is, or kids are, or... or I don't know, something along those lines. It's just not, it's just not right. But what do you mean by experiencing something real, or, or, or the pain being good, or what are you, what are you implying here, Doc, huh? And I don't know, but let's start Act 3 and see where we go today, where the hypnosis leads us, shall we? I mean, we have to figure out what exactly is going on. Is it that we... messed something up? Did, did, did we actually kill someone? Or did the lady in the hotel maybe jump off because of us? Or maybe there isn't even a lady. Maybe it's just like... Maybe John tried something. Who knows? For now, let's see. The last game I played was... Flying or... Treasure hunt? Treasure hunting! No problem. John, I want to try something new. I want you to try and clear your mind. Ooh. Just like a blank sheet of paper. Hey! I'd like you to imagine anything you want and take me there. All right. It can be anything, John. Okay, uh, yeah. Um, um, I imagine myself on a beach drinking a, a pina colada. Just not with no cares in the world. No, uh, no worries. None whatsoever. Can we go there? Uh, uh, can we? Or do I have to write it out for you? I'll probably do. Click, click, clack, clack. That once was a man from Nantucket. Never mind, I'm not even writing. Wait, uh, uh, wait, can I click, click, or... Uh, what the heck? Okay, yeah. M. No, M. I can't even see what you're writing, kiddo. All right, John. You do you. Oh, cool. The shadow, it's like it's floating. Yeah, you do you, John. You do you. We, we gotta go down the hallway anyway. I don't know where we're gonna go next. Clearly the room to my childhood is boarded off. Maybe this one? Medical condition. Unless this is the last one? Although, no, you, you see, there's something in here. Clearly this is the way. There wasn't something there before. Oh, and also, if you look at the doors, there's, what, one, two, three, four, five, six? So maybe five acts in an epilogue, or six acts in total? Come back to me, my face! Almost. Yeah, almost! Broken mirror, almost. Alright. Let's go! It's probably this way, right? Yeah, see? Oh, why didn't... Oh. I want you to submit to the memory. You know, that's easier said than done. It's not you being put on a pedestal here and- Oh, where's the door? <laughs> it's kind of creepy looking out and not seeing anything. No discernible ground, ceiling, walls. Ugh. Ugh. I hate it. I hate it. Okay. Let me just sit down over here. Ah. That's right, Susanna. That's right. Click, click, clack, clack. Hey, I was just kidding about the beach. It was a beautiful day on the beach. He could feel the sun on his face and hear the sounds of the sea. 
As he looked out from his palace, he thought to himself, a glass of wine would be perfect. John, I think the last thing you need is a glass of wine. Although now I'm literally sitting on a very nice beach, aren't I? Alright, let's drink that. Ah, exactly like that. Perfect. Oh! Ooh. Ooh, I recognize that. Three, three dots, three dits, and three dots. That's the uh, Morse code for SOS. Why did it stop, John? Is there nothing else that comes to mind? Sorry, man. I'm an alcoholic. What, what can I say? You? Am I real? Can you recall? You know, I've been questioning that myself all along. Are you even real? Or am I psychoanalyzing myself, eh? Gotta wonder. Is this my chair, or is that one? Oh, clear this one. Alright. Yes, John. I remember that day well. Do you recall what we spoke about? The fact that we're in a really white room? Uh, the fact that this painting is empty? Focus. All right. That one in particular is special. The Rorschach test. Yeah, this. I, okay, you can't trick me, guys. This is clearly a bat. Okay, it's. I've seen ink blots before, in, in like online and, and crap like that. And this is clearly a bat. I, I don't see anything else here. All right. So what? What? Oh, hello. You know, what's the telly? Oh, never mind. That's uh, clearly grab a ticket sort of thing. Ring, ring. Hello. Hello. Anybody? No. No. All right. Can I grab a. Oh, registration. Visiting. Is this the day I came to register, or where would I be visiting? Shoes. Hmm, I'm gonna register. I mean, it doesn't make sense that I'd be visiting, right? Alright, ooh! Nice collar, bro! Even though it's not a, not a collar. Richards. Good, John. Follow the memory. I'd rather not. It's getting kind of creepy. I mean, it was nice when it was a hotel, and the orphanage was pretty much okay, even though it was needlessly cruel and now we're in a really creepy disjointed hospital Ooh. oh I love this effect oh yes come together at my feet like I'm some sort of god doctor's office hello doc Um. Oh God, the the Rorschach test attacked me. Don't attack Welcome me, please. Back, Mr. Evans, please take a seat. All right, Act Three, two poles. The therapy continues to progress. The patient's mind is quick to embrace emptiness. The stimulus of our past was able to transcend the walls. He has reached a critical crossroads. Emptiness with the truth. I'll take an order of the truth, please. Nonsense. I don't want none of this emptiness. Though, you know, I'm not really a fan of abandoned hospitals, and I get the feeling we're about to enter a really abandoned hospital. I mean, if this chair and the prologue and the, and the tests attacking me, the shadows attacking me, or any sort of an indication. Welcome back, Mr. Evans. Please, uh, take a seat. Uh, sure, sure. Can I just leave? No? Okay, never mind. Why would I want to leave, huh? What is this? My pills? No. Never mind. Yeah, it is. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. J. Evans, born January 3rd, 1970. Admitted to the branch on January 13th, 1990. Jesus, man. Only 20 years old? Sucks. Sucks for me, sucks for you. So it doesn't suck for the doctor, he has plenty of work. How are you doing today? Oh, you know. Uh, not much better than before. 
Uh, I don't even know what, what to choose in these cases. What? Stop shoot that. No. Stop solving a Rubik's Cube in front of me. And levitating your glasses. It's not funny. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm doing fine. I'm doing All fine. right. And how about your daily routine? Did you have a chance to try my advice? Uh, not yet. It's uh, I, it's in the back of my head. I don't even... I, I, I'll be honest, I wasn't paying attention when you said that. Remember to at least try, Mr. Evans. The first step comes from within. Sure, sure. All right, let's start something new for this session. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen these before. Oh, here we go. Also, I'm loving it's the back... It's simple. I'd like to ask you some questions about what you see. Well, sure, sure, sure. Let me just... Don't worry about your answers. There is no wrong choice. Take your time. Actually, it's worth it that he mentions that. Because it means that no matter what I choose, probably in those uh, text bubble options, it's all the same, right? Maybe, hopefully not. I'd love there for, be, for there to be more choices, but... But let me finish my monologue, okay, my uh, invisible friend? Man, we live in an invisible world. I'm loving the background music, though. Wah, whooshing in the background, just... It's... Unnerving. Like this entire game. Alright, let's pick this up and... This kind of looks like a bug with a little, uh, crumb... I was gonna say crossbow, no, a little, um... Uh, bow tie! Bow tie, yeah, a little red bow tie. And... Uh, I don't know what the red other red stuff could be. First, tell me what you see. Yeah, sure. Two people carrying something. Ooh, that could be it. Two people watering plants? Uh... I mean, I barely see a person as it is. If you consider that one side, like this part I'm looking at right here, is like the leg. And then this little part where I'm directly pointing at is like the butt. And then these are like the stubby little... Uh, arms and over here is like the chicken head and then yeah i suppose it could be two people carrying something do they seem happy to you i mean they look like chickens why would <laughs> why would you be happy doing that helping someone carry things i just i you gotta hate that activity you know uh i don't think so and what do you think the red means love I mean, if we consider that this little bow tie is like two little hearts mashed together at the tips, could be hearts, could be could be love. I mean, right? Last question: Do you see yourself there? Not at all. Uh, I mean, I may be a weird little man. I may be invisible. I maybe have a completely bald, stony head, or at least a. Hallway in the prologue always seem to indicate, but no, no, I'm not a chicken man. No, not at all. Thank you, Mr. Evans. Interesting. I interesting, interesting. It's very important that we have structure in our lives. And a job is a great way to start a healthy routine. Damn right it is. I've marked some jobs I think you would be good at. Oh, ho, let me see. Let, uh, Take a look. Let's see how... Maybe something will catch your eye. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Wait, what the hell? It hasn't even been an hour! And you only showed one ink blot! I feel cheated. I'm glad I'm not paying for this. Alright, let, let me just see if you psychoanalyze me, right? Woo! Sorry about that. Whoa, whoa! Creative writer and finance analyst. Well, I mean, it does beat the other options. Although accountants do earn a bit of fair money, I think. Though, to be totally fair, who would want to work in accounting anyway? No offense to accountants. All right, sure. Let's, uh, let's... Ooh. Hi! Chicken man inkbot. Oh, wait. Hi? Oh, this is the bat, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. What the... What the... Uh, what am I looking at? All right. I mean, come on. You can't tell me this doesn't look like two chicken people just carrying, like, a conjoined bucket or something. Or is it just me? Alright, open. Ah! Oh, I must, you know, I must be in the wrong place. I don't, <laughs> I don't belong in jail. I, I, uh, alright, fine, let's, let's close that up, yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy! Thanks. Passages, oh, th thank you, thanks, yeah, listen. 
What's it say there? Health Institute. Hmm. Hmm. Right. Yeah. Can I can I hit the fire alarm? Just quickly get out. No. Hmm. Never mind. Didn't want to anyway. Oh, this must be mine. What the heck? Are those pills? Oh, this isn't mine. Oh, well, wait a minute. I can't grab them, but I can open this. Am I working here, maybe? Is that what he means by getting a better job? Perhaps. Observe. Oh, it wasn't focused, sorry. It was just observe. Hello? Knock, knock. Anybody, uh, anybody in here? No? No? Hmm. Okay. Maybe I'm not supposed to be here. Maybe, maybe I'm supposed to be heading out somewhere else and I just sort of got caught off guard by the pills. Right? Yeah, of course. Not everything blue is mine, after all. Just sort of seems that whole... Oh. Hi! Uh, are you all waiting for me? No, no way. Yeah, chapter one, the job search? What the hell? But this is Act 3! Alright, I'm not gonna question it. Gotta wonder how many chapters there are in this... In this, um... Act. Why is this everywhere? No, like, really, why... Why did you decide to focus on this one little thing? Forever, John, huh? It's just an ink blot. More pills... Duct tape. I don't even want to know what you plan on doing with all that, John, but, um, yeah. Focus! Ooh. Oh, what a lovely... Lovely little... Oh, quaint little bedroom, you could say. Oh, I'm just traveling with the same things I always had, huh? Teddy. My trusty comb. My... Not Walkman? That's awesome. Let's turn that off. And maybe open this? No. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh, I see. I see. I see. Well, la -dee da I arrived at my new workplace. I mean, my new home. Ready to start work. I should get started. With the job hunt? Oh, God. this Not this nightmare again. All right. Uh, click. Lovely. Alright, let's clack on them keys. Show new offers. Jobs in America! Gotta love that webpage. There's never anything for me. Oh, this is gonna but This is... Mm, this is about to get a little too real for me, I see. What is that sound behind me? Who is... Whoa! Are these what? All the different options? Cook. Nope. Well, I managed to burn water. Hmm. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't think I'd ever get that far. But yeah, I'm not. I'm not looking to cook either. Construction worker. Uh, what's it say there? Nothing that I would build would last long. Okay. No. Listen. It's just about experience. Yeah. Get a little bit of experience. You could. Uh, you can. You can do it. Welder. I wouldn't be a good welder. That's just plain and simple. All right, John. Fine. Whatever. You, you can't mess up plumbing, though. I hate getting dirty. Well, I, I understand that much. But uh, yo, it's a job. You know, you, you, you gotta get paid. No money, no life, right? Couldn't be a janitor. Too much work. Also, you don't like getting dirty. Too wait. Too much work. <sighs> Guess it depends on what you janitorialize. Doctor. Too much responsibility. I think you're putting yourself too high and then too low. Was writing really the only option? And drinking? Hmm. Yeah, this could be interesting. Let's write a story. After days of searching for clues, the detective finally got a break in the form of a cryptic note. Follow the blue balloon tonight at 9 p.m. What is that? Is that the blue balloon? 
I love how blue is a, a recurring motif too, because uh, there's the blue comb, the blue Walkman, the blue pills. Blue balloon! Aha! Oh, that's a very nice looking balloon too. Observe. Okay, sorry, it was clearly not focus. It was, it was observe. Hire yourself. Your dream something or other. My dream job is just waiting for me, isn't it? Ooh, that is one tough balloon. Wait, where are you going? What the hell is that? Uh, okay, um, oh my. What if I sit down? <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to sit down. Okay, okay, okay. I heard you the first time across the bridge. The air was electric, and the night held its breath. The hair stood up on the back of its neck. And that kind of rhymed for a moment as he stepped forward. Further along the bridge. A shot rang out. The cold body didn't offer answers, but he didn't need them. Anyway, he finally found the lead. Now the work can begin. Okay, you're imagining the entire storyline, and I am all up for that. Ooh, a rose. Ah. Great, great. And the smoking gun. What? What was that? Apply- No, 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 I'm too busy. Okay, where's the balloon? I'm too busy! I'm too busy to apply! Oh, Alright, fine. Mail sent. Oh no, that horrible moment where you wait for people to reply to your... to your resume. Oh god, I understand it. I understand that stress. What? What, uh, what happened? Uh, did I go under for some reason, maybe? Uh, what's, why am I on an operating table? Uh, <laughs> why? Oh, uh, thank you. It's ah. good to see you, Mr. Evans. How'd I get in there? I, oh, yeah, yeah, super, swell. How are you feeling? Um, a little better. I and how did job. the job search go? Did you find anything? I mean, uh, I tried. Maybe there's something, yeah. Even if I did, why would someone hire me? No, 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 John. I know you've been feeling down and pessimistic and... Self-loathing and all that, but come on, there's there's maybe something, right? The writing? I mean, if not, then how does this game even make any sense? Good. That's the spirit. Okay, Mr. Evans, how about we try another ink blot? Oh god, not another one. Same as before. I'll ask some questions, and there are no wrong answers. You say that, but I don't believe you. What do oh. you see in front of you? I see... Mm, kind of looks like two people... This one I'm pointing out right now, like the knees, with little red boots, and over here they're like joining hands, and they clearly have like uh, Santa, uh, you know, hats on or have really red heads. Two bears fighting. Yeah, that's the first thing that actually came to mind. Two bears because they kind of look like bears. A wait, 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 wait. A screaming face. I mean, I suppose so. If if the hand joining part could be like. The nose, the hole in the middle of the mouth, and the red parts of the eyes, but... now I see two bears fighting. How does that make you feel? Ugh! Alright. Anxious? I mean, wouldn't you be anxious if you saw two bears fighting in front of you? And what about now? What do you see? Now, this is a trick question, because moths and butterflies are essentially the same creature, just... Um, well, I mean, no, it's not, not, butterflies tend to have rounder wings. I'm going to go with moth. Thank you. Quite interesting. A change in perspective can be powerful. Uh, yeah, yeah, you bet. That's enough for today. I wish you good luck, Mr. Evans. Thanks, Doc. I'm, I'm not sure if I this... I think you want the job more than you let show, which isn't a bad thing. Well, that's true. We'll meet again. The same time next week? Uh, yeah, sure, but uh, when am I going to see some progress? Okay, never mind, some progress. He doesn't want to let me progress. Alright, is it this way? 
Can I exit? No. Oh. I guess we go to where the bears are fighting, of course. Chapter 2! Man, you run and it doesn't feel like you're making any progress, but then you actually get close to the jail cell and... Man, I do not like the looks of this place. Alright. So... This way? Click, uh, no. Wait, what the? Is that a cat? Oh, stop it! Stop observing me! Is it this way? Ah! Into the blue, I see! Okay. Was it this way? Oh, thank you. Thanks. Yeah, I totally want to wait in here. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Well, this chapter... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't want to breathe either. I was going to say, this act, it's uh, a lot less... A lot more intriguing, a lot less emotionally scarring than the last one. But then again, the last one did only get emotionally scarring towards the end. Registration! No, I'm visiting. I'm no longer a patient. Right? Hello? Uh, hi? Hello? Hey, yo! Can you turn off the light? It's kind of bright in there. Who's next? Uh, me? Mr. Shut John Evans. You're Wh next. Why am I playing from inside the psychiatrist's office? I don't know, man, but... Alright! Oh, oh! What the? Oh, 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 the gold! No, 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 stop getting in no god, stop getting in my way! Oh, stop running away from me, interview room! Mr. Evans, please sit down. You didn't let me read the poster on the wall. The one that looked like a Hollywood poster for an interview. Thanks, man. Um, thank you. Thanks for the opportunity. Okay, Mr. Evans. Let's cut right to the chase. Uh-huh. Let's take a look at your resume. Uh, I'd really rather not. But, alright, fine. Here, here, here. here. Yeah, there, there you go. Um, what's it say? Yeah, never mind. I'm not gonna read it. Hmm. Not exactly the qualifications we're looking for. I thought as much. I'm sorry, I'll listen. I'll a short story from the job posting. Uh, uh, um... Uh, th this thing? I wrote a short story, did I? Okay, oh, no, don't, don't, don't criticize it, please. It's my only life achievement. You wrote this? Y yes. It's not bad, but I'm not convinced. How about you prove to me, right here, right now, that you've got the skills? Oh, that's it, huh? Where's my- Write yeah. Write us a short story. Any topic. Alright. Bring it! Um, the topic is... Ink blots. I have actually no idea what the topic's gonna be, but... Sometimes the best choice is to hide. Not... You can hear the beast coming, but there's nothing you can do, so you choose to hide and pray it passes you by. There wasn't any time to save anyone else. You would tell yourself until the end of days. The only thing is, if you asked for anyone else, they would tell you. Oh no, don't, don't! Locking you away was the best thing they ever did. I think that's enough. Is that good or bad? A little cliche, but well written. Welcome aboard, John. You've got the job. Hey! Celebrate! Yeah, good times. Ooh. Wait till Dr. Richards hears of this. <laughs> but why, why, why am I locked in the basement? What kind of a job did I get? Oh, it's back to the bat. All right. Oh, doctor. I'm back. Hello, Mr. Evans. Nice to see you again. Did you reorganize your office? Seems like it did. Seems like it did. All right, this is your chair, not mine. Yeah, there we go. How are you doing? You know, pretty swell, actually. I got the job, uh... 
I think better, yeah. And did you have the job interview? How did it go? Terribly, but I somehow... Yeah, I got it. I got it. It was scary, but I got it. Congratulations, Mr. Evans. That's great news. Yeah, yeah. Let's continue our work with the ink blots. Must we? I know they're confusing, but I think we're making progress. Oh, if you say so. Ooh, what this comes was... to mind when you look at this? This one's nice. Before I look at the answers, hold on. There's something about a, a mountain, but no. Oh, crap, now I can't stop seeing a mountain. I can't unsee it. You know, at first glance, it kind of looks like a frame. A human frame. Sort of like the neck is the white part at the top. Then you have the shoulders. And this pink part here could be like the shoulder... The, the shoulders themselves would make like shoulder blades. And then as it sort of squishes down, down the middle, it's sort of like the chest, right? Ribs and... And then it expands out again into the uh, pelvis area but obviously that's not what i'm supposed to be seeing because it's either panthers climbing a mountain oh! oh yeah i see you look four legs i know it's i don't know where you see a panther in there but a mountain though or a trapped dragon yeah, no, I, I no, I see the Panthers. What name would you give this picture? The journey. Would you associate this with weakness or strength? I mean, it does take strength to climb mountains, so strength. Last question, Mr. Evans. Which would you choose to be, a dragon or a panther? Now, that's a trick question, because these are panthers. You want to hear panther, Dr. Man, but my favorite animal... Mythological, at least, has always been the dragon, so dragon it is. Thank you, Mr. Evans. That's enough for now. It's your thing. I think we're getting somewhere. Oh, God, thank you. Good luck at your new job. I look forward to hearing about it. What's going to happen next? Chapter 3, The Dark Descent. Because obviously, nothing's going to go right in the job. Into the panther door we go. Yeah, panther climbing a mountain. Open sesame. I don't like this place. Open this one. All right. So wait. No, it's obviously not that way. It's not this way. But it feels like maybe there will be a fourth chapter in which we go this way. Because it feels like we've been going everywhere. Open it up again. Yeah. There we go. Waiting room? I'm guessing it's in there. It's the only... Oh, thank you. It's the only place with... Actual oh, movie. <laughs> Love me some black and white flicks. Classic. All right, so uh, do I gotta sign in or something? Uh, ding dong, ring rong. Hello. Nice light you got there. Can I? Uh, you know what? I'm I'm kind of parched here. I can't grab a cup. Never mind. Wait, wait. I can't grab a cup. Really? Drinking water ain't good for me, apparently. Oh! This is open. Alright. Chapter 3, The Office. You know, I never saw that show, but that's not what's supposed to come to mind, is it? Huh, now hold on. I applied to be a writer. What, uh, why am I entering an office space? Pardon my ignorance, you know, maybe writers have offices, but it feels like this is... It's like some sort of a corporate position. On. Work rules for all the workers. All work is set up on the de on the disc marked employee name. The disc can be found in the work cabinet on the hallway. Hello? Let's get started, John. You'll find everything you need on your disc. Sure thing. Should I go get it? Or... Oh, dear. Let me just set this down. Uh, all employees need to finish all their tasks before 1700. Well, I am definitely... <laughs> Not gonna manage it because look at how long it taken. Keep calm and work fail repeat. Oh no 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 no! I don't like it. Oh the god the corporate maze. Uh, look, look where's where's the exit? Is that where the discs are? No this is it right. There we go big ass diskette. There we go floppy floppy. 
Bam, bam, boom. We're going to get our work done before five. You'll see. Time is it. Uh, and it is... All right. It is 8 a.m. Sure thing. Let's do this. Uh, put that there. Kerchunk. Yay. Okay. Test for today. Children's story. Click to continue. Right. Oh, over here. Okay. Quick new file. Got it. Once upon a time, there was a young boy whose dream was to become... To, to become? Uh, to, to become? To become what? Okay, uh... Uh, sure. Do I have to take a disc or something? Maybe I, I gotta go get water or something. Water? No, no, uh, coffee. No, no, that's not good. Uh. Uh. Hey! What are you looking at? Go back to work. Sorry! Jeez, uh, I'm uh, messing up already. How about you? Uh, oh, you too? Oh, okay, um. Jeez, uh, okay, look. Uh, guys, I just. I, I need some ideas. Anybody have an idea for me? No? How about you? You want to know? Okay, I'll get back to work then. Oh, jeez. Um, you? R right. Yeah. Editorial th now hiring. Uh, hmm. To become. Uh, I can't type clearly, so that's not it. Am I supposed to be doing something? Click, click, click. There's nothing there. Open that, close that. Oh! Oh! A brave knight. Okay, I've been wasting time. That's awesome. A brave knight. Yes. How do I... What do I... Am I supposed to click something else? A brave knight. Okay. Yes. What? What else? Hills. Oh dear. Okay, so a brave knight and I don't know. Wait, light bulb. Do I have to click that light bulb or? Oh, my worker's gone. Oh no, you're gonna steal ideas, aren't you? Write a story. One day while he was resting on a hammock. Alright. A royal messenger came to him with a message. A carrier pigeon, of course. On behalf of the king, the following is announced. The royal princess was brutally kidnapped by a monster living in the cursed cave. The one who dares defeat the monster and save the princess will become a knight of the king. Righteous! Oh no, the beast is going to be a dragon. The boy, however, needed a proper weapon to fight the beast, but where could he find one? Well, clearly in the... Oh! Clearly in the east! Okay. He decided to go deep into the forest in search of a weapon. Right. Am I going to find the weapon? Am I going to be able to use a weapon? Oh, there's a light bulb over here. Never mind. After a few days of wandering in the woods, our hero finally found a magic well. Did you find it? Yes, you did. According to old stories, the well could fulfill any wish, but only under a full moon. Do I have to find the moon or something? Or Oh! Ooh! I'm digging this, even though I can already tell it's going to go really badly. Click! Haha, <laughs> nice. Oh, it's uh, the story's being written. Hold on. Don't write off without me. After a few days of wandering in the woods, blah, 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 blah. Okay, un only under a full moon. Is it full yet? I don't think it's full. Unless I. Ah, there we go. Make a wish. So the boy asked for a magic bow and arrows to defeat the monster, and the whale fulfilled his wish. The boy was ready to fight. Ah, cool. 
And this must be where the dragon is. Or the beast? Defeat the beast. I'm ill prepared! <laughs> Hello! Ooh, I fell asleep at work. Oh, that's not good. Evans! You know I love the creativity, but I need you to focus on the job. This is an important one for us. Easier said than done, my guy. Alright. That was what, chapter 3 or 4? I'm losing count already. Yep, yep, uh, Doc, it clearly... It went kind of well. I mean, I was writing a story, but I also fell asleep at the job, so... No, no. No idea what to tell you. Uh, Doc? Alright, no worries. Good afternoon, Mr. Evans. Please, make yourself comfortable. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, so, tell me. That's comfy. How are you feeling about your new job? It's stressful. Progress takes effort and time, Mr. Evans. That's what they say. It pays off in the long term. I think one day you'll agree with me. Yeah. Do you think staying still would have been better than what you've achieved? I mean... Look, it's not always black and white. Fair enough, Mr. Evans. We can keep going. We Another... have one more ink blot to look at. I think you'll like this one. One last chapter then, eh? Do you see anything familiar? Uh... Uh... No? A volcano exploding life in the... Yeah, no, this has to look like life in the ocean. A volcano, maybe, but no, it's life. It's very colorful, very... All over the place. Is there chaos or order? Good question, because it kind of looks chaotic. Let me just, yeah. Kind of looks a little chaotic, but the fact that it's symmetrical already gives an air of order, so I'm going to go with order. And how does that make you feel? At home. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Those responses have been very enlightening. Sure thing, Doc. You've come a long way in these last sessions, Mr. Evans. Oh, thank God. Our time is up for today. But I want you to keep your mind open to new opportunities. I always do. Yep, let's go for the ocean, then. Bye! <laughs> I chose dragon. Oh, wait, but the thing in the cave didn't exactly sound like a dragon. It sounded sort of like a panther. I was just thinking, what if I had chosen a panther? Would the story have changed instead of being about a knight? Maybe if I'd given him the role of king instead of knight. Hmm. No idea. Into the final room we go. Waiting room? Okay, chapter four, home. Did I answer right, or? Is this my little apartment? Seems like it. Let's focus. Yoink! Another day, another dollar! <laughs> Care to turn that off? Click. Wait, 1013. Don't tell me I lost my job. Oh god, please. Am I gonna make uh, some coffee or something? No, no, never mind. Okay. Can't leave just yet. I need mean, no. Close that. Close that. What is this doing here? That's a very dark bathroom. Very dark bathroom. What am I supposed to be doing? Have any sort of a clue? Lion roar cigarettes. All right. Got a small TV. Hey, hey, nice. Phone. 
Hmm. All right. Do I have to focus on this now? What's this? Is the bathroom, man. Take a nice shower over here. La da de de do. Yeah, never mind. I don't want to shower anyway. <laughs> oh, toothpaste? No. No, am I gonna brush my teeth? Oh, I, yes, I am. No, I'm not. Why would I brush my teeth? It's it's way too. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's. Uh, I, I like my mouth dirty anyway. Hello, John. We just got a call from the client. Oh, good. What do you say? I know it's Saturday, but we really need the next chapter of the story by 5 p.m. today. 5 p.m. to Are you insane? I'm counting on you, John. That's seven hours. Do you know how... Bright things in the future for you. Do you see... The... Do you... Why did my TV shut off? Do you understand how difficult it is to write a story? A chapter? In seven hours? Man, when I've dabbled in writing, I've taken well over three days. I can do it. I just need to focus and some peace and quiet and maybe a glass of wine. Alright. Uh, let's write a story. Uh, prison was uh, no home, but visitors were uh, still welcome. What is that noise? Sounds like a piano. Oh no, don't do it. Quiet there, I need to work. Oh, John. That's not the answer. Good, now we can continue. Yeah, this is clearly like what... What led into the hotel situation, right? Needing peace and quiet. Who might it be? You again? <laughs> no idea. Uh, can we stare through this? No. Sorry about the noise. Not I just moved on upstairs, and I don't want to start off on the wrong foot with anyone. Not a problem. Let me know if it gets too loud again. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, no. Hmm. I thought as much. I am living a lie. I am not living a very nice life. So maybe it could be said that all of the answers I was giving to the good doctor were lies. John was never happy. Sure, he managed to move into his own place, but... And maybe he did get a job. But nothing was really better. He wasn't really happy. And yet the fact that we met this lady, potential love interest, opens the door, no pun intended, for... Oh, man. Whatever either happened at the hotel... Or just some way for John to turn his life around. But okay, that was Act 3 anyway. Definitely less distressing than uh, Act 2 by far. Uh, but not any less relatable, honestly. To anyone who's had a job or, and or lost it. Or had to, you know, go looking. It's a stressful time. It's a stressful time. I mean, I know it. I know it's a stressful time. And just, uh, sometimes you gotta settle, and sometimes the jobs you find just, they aren't the best, and, you know, you, you go you go through with it, because, hell, you need money, but... We shouldn't be working for money. We should be working for pleasure. We should do the things we like. Though it's not always an option or something easy to accomplish. But anyway, I'm rambling. This was Act 3. I hope you liked it. I did too. And if you did, then please, thumb us with that like button down below. Comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button for some sweet, sweet notifications. But as always, I'm the only me, so you be the only you. See you next time in Act 4.